Hey, William from Advanced Space here. We're just releasing version 2.07 beta, and I wanted to do another tutorial because we added some new features, and I wanted to let you know how they work. So first things first, when you load up your van, um, you're presented with this screen. To get inside of the van, you just simply turn off the van walls, and then you got to decide whether you're going to have a bulkhead here or not that is a wall between the front of the cab and the rear. And if you don't want it, you can toggle it off. Uh, also, depending on which country you're from, you have the steering wheel either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And if you want to switch that, you can click the mirror van from here. All right. So now that we have the van set up, we're going to start adding objects. So let's go and start with a kitchen cabinet. So you just drag one onto the scene. And then once you click on it, these controls on the bottom left pop up and this is what controls the um, the object so first things first let's go into the control panel up here click on the move gizmo and now we can use these arrows to move it around if we want to rotate it we can click on this rotate button or scale we click on the scale button all right so alternatively we can use these arrow keys to move it also rotate it and if we want to change um, the rotation scale or uh, movement precisely we can use this box here with the numbers here so for example the y-axis is here on the green arrow so if we want to rotate it we can change the rotation just by typing it in let's get it back okay um, same goes for the scale. So let's go change. We can change either to scale from this button here, or we can go into scale from up here on the top control bar. Um, here is also where you can change the dimensions from Imperial to metric. So here we have inches or centimeters, and that'll actually update on the object, object itself where you can see the, um, the dimensions. So let's keep it in centimeters. And let's say we wanted the height to be one meter, then we can just type in 100 here. Alternatively, we can use these gizmos here to change to just drag and drop the scale. And then you can change the different um, sizes there. But let's just set it here. So let's go 100. We'll go by 100 and then we'll have the depth. We'll keep the depth what it was. All right, so the next thing you need to know is how to move around change your view so if you look at the top right the gizmo here with the vans on it allows you to quickly change your view to top view both sides and rear view alternatively you can click on this middle button which brings you into the orthographic view where you can see things without perspective so if you want to for example line up two cabinets it's a lot easier to do that in the uh, orthographic view then perspective as you can see all right let's get rid of that the control panel on the top right these arrows are your camera controls so up down left right if you want to ever need to reset your controls just click on the home button it'll bring you back to where you started uh, this also rotates the camera zooms in and out and alternatively you can click on this button on the top left in the task bar here. And once that's on, you have free cam mode. So once you right click, you can look around and you can use your WASD keys to move around in the world to kind of fine tune your, um, your camera. All right, so let's just quickly do a build so that we can go through a couple things. So I'm going to go into top view by clicking on this widget here. Actually, let's go into orthographic so we can see things lined up nicely. And let's throw in a pre-made kitchen. So here we go. Put this kitchen in the corner here. And if we look at it from the side, we can see that it's backwards. So we will click on the rotate and simply rotate it on the Y axis, 180 degrees. Type that into this box here, hit enter. And there, now we can see that it's in the right spot. 
All right, so next let's throw a bed in to the mix. And we'll just put a simple platform bed. Actually, let's we'll do a pull-out bed. We'll do a pull-out couch bed. All right, so let's go to top view again. Actually, let's change it to orthographic so we can line it up. And let's put it against the wall. So we're going to rotate this on the... With, let's do it with the slider this time. So and then we can like fine tune it to exactly where we want with the um, by typing it into the box there. Now let's change it to the move gizmo so we can move it. And if you didn't see that, I just went to the top here in this bar, clicked on this move button, and then that's what brings up the arrows here. For example, the rotate brings up the rotate sliders, and the scale brings up the scale buttons. So you can scale it bigger or smaller. And also when you change between move or rotate and scale, this box updates down here. So if we're in scale, then we can change the dimensions here and the um, imperial or metric. And if we're in the rotate, we can it changes the box to rotate. Okay, so let's put it back to the move gizmo and we'll line it up. Go to the top view, we'll put it up here by the wheel well. Okay. And we'll go back to or the or to perspective view. Okay, so now we have the couch and the kitchen corner kitchen in there. Let's add a sink. How about? All right, so we changed it to when you have when you add a sink now. Um, actually, the it goes through the the cap the cabinet or the. Sorry, when you had to say it goes through the countertop now, whereas it used to just sit on top. So let's turn the rotate here and let's get it to 90 degrees. Actually, let's go 180. Look at the side view. Put the move gizmo, put it down. There we go. All right, so now the sink is in. Um, let's add a faucet. All right, so when you're adding things uh, and you're working in 3D, you really need to use these buttons on this widget here that go from top view, side view, and rear view because that's how you can line things up perfectly. So you can see here, if we're looking from the rear view, we can line things up along um, this red axis here. And if we're looking at it from the side view, we can line things up on the blue axis here. And that's why they're there and that's what makes it that's they're made they're there to make it easier for you to line things up okay so let's that's our faucet now let's take a look at it from the perspective view again all right all right so let's say you want to add some electrical stuff to your build and you want to plan on where your let's say your outlets are going to be or your switches you can come here and select between the north american or european outlets and then you can just slide them onto the wall there. And then like we can put a light switch, say, over here. Um, you can also put in a different, um, what is it called, generators or like batteries. So you can see the size of something if you want to. Um, let's say you're buying this brand of inverter or power generator. You can see where you can fit it in your build. All right, so the one last thing I want to talk about is uh, material selecting. And so let's say you want to change the fabric of this couch. Then you click on the couch here. You can see the fabric here is the one that it currently has. And let's say we want to change it to a red fabric. Then we can click on this red fabric here, slide it onto the fabric, the item material, and then it changes it to red. And the same goes for anything. So let's say we want to change the plastic of this in, um, generator. And like we can just click on it and we'll change it to a copper generator, for example. All right, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, if you want to share a screenshot, you can just click on the snapshot button. It'll take a picture of the current camera view and you can look at them in the snapshot gallery here. Uh, they also saved your computer. Um, 
If you want to check distances between things, you can click on this measure mode here and then click between two points and that'll show you the distance of it and then just click again to get rid of it. Um, the best way to measure is to go into the orthographic view here by clicking on that square in the middle and then you can measure between two points precisely. All right, so um, pretty much everything else is the same from the last tutorial. Uh, so if you want to give that a watch too, there, there, you might pick something else up. But we really appreciate the feedback you've been giving us and we really try to implement everything that you say into the next version. So if you want something added, then don't be afraid to send an email because most likely you'll see it in the next video or the next version. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.